What's up guys, Drake Rowell and Roll coming back at you with another video and today we're rebuilding the Philadelphia Eagles as this team is pretty good I just don't think they're good enough so quarterback Carson Wentz is very solid Jalen Hurts they drafted not a very swell pick but Miles Sanders are running back and then the wide receiver position in Madden is better than what it is in real life. Alshon Jeffrey, Deshaun Jackson, Mark Lee Squidwin, Jalen Rager, they drafted in the first round. But in Madden, he's a fourth receiver. Then the offensive line is one of the best in football. I don't know why Jason Peters is here, because I don't think he's on the team anymore. But he could be on the team. And then tight end, we have Zach Ertz. Probably. He's very underrated, I, in my opinion. He's very good. And Dallas Goder. Defensively, the D-line is probably the best position group on this team. Derek Barnett, Fletcher Cox, Javon Hargrave, Brandon Graham, and they brought in Malik Jackson. Corner, Darius Slay, still one of the best corners in the league. Nickel Roby, Mikhail Roby Coleman, Avon, Avante Maddox, Sidney Jones, the fourth. Safety, Rodney McLeod, Jalen Mills. Okay. Then the linebackers are way worse than I thought they were. Jatavius Brown, Duke Riley, Nick Jerry. I don't even know who these people are, but this is their defense. Okay. Will Parks, Cravante LeBlanc, and Malik Jackson gets us two first round picks from the Browns. That means the mark were four and four. Uh, okay. And we have no one to bring back, so we'll just go to the playoffs. We make a playoffs. Went nine and seven in the best division in football, even though the NFC East is the worst division. But well, let's go Super Bowl week. Offense. Alshon Jeffrey now is superstar. Not the guy that you would think would now have a superstar, but defensively. I don't see anything. We have no money in free agency. So we're just going to go to the draft. And the draft, we have the 18th pick and uh, the 32nd pick. So Isaac Mason's going to be the pick here out of Miami. Look to trade Rodney McLeod. 75 overall, star better development. He looks to be like a solid player that He's probably going to start. Yeah, McLeod and a sixth-round pick next year gets us a 30th pick from the Giants. Trey Dillard, a third-round pick and a fifth-round pick, gets us the 21st pick from the Redskins, who we're going to use to take a left tackle. The Ravens just took the left tackle one pick before us. They don't even need tackle. They decided, why don't we just ruin your day? We're going to take Luther Russell here out of USC. Looks all right. 70, another 75 overall, star better development, the number 7 player in the class. I think we're going to trade our next two first round picks. We are trading down with the Vikings, probably too much value, but it was the only way to get them to accept. And with the 32nd pick, we're going to take Cedric Johns out of Oklahoma. Looks pretty good. 73 overall, star better development. He's probably going to come in and start right away. The team for the second season, uh, we're an 85 overall. Probably going to suck, but you never know. At the mid season mark, for 2 and 5. I told you after I saw the team that we were going to go 2 and 5. We have to bring back Derek Barnett, Cindy Jones, Jalen Mills, we don't really need to bring back. Um, hopefully, we have money. We have no money, so we can't bring back anyone. So we didn't make a playoffs. Eight and eight, that's the worst. I hate eight and eight. It's like you don't make the playoffs, but you're not good. So, like, it, uh, eight and eight is so bad. Whatever, let's go to Super Bowl. Week. There are no development increases but defensively. Isaac Mason as superstar and John's a superstar X-Factor. Well, 
momentum shift. Let's go. We still have no money, so we'll just go to the draft. So I wanted to move up in the draft. Josh Sweat and two third round picks gets us the number three overall pick. I take Luke Forbes out of Oklahoma. Might be the best cornerback I've ever seen in a draft. 81 overall. Told you he'd be good. Star better development. 81. Man, that's a sixth pick. We're going to take Greg Ben Yard. 78 overall. Number four in the class. Normal development. Who cares? He's an O-lineman. He doesn't really need star better. But still, I would like star better. But that doesn't really. With the 15th pick, we're going to take another right tackle, Carson Rogers. Also looks pretty good. He is 77 overall. But again, with normal development. 17th pick. We leave our final first round pick. We're going to take Jack Verndon out of Vanderbilt. Another O-lineman. This time, he's a 79 overall, the number two in the class. Star better development. I already said that. The team for the third season. So we're an 86 overall. Our offense is pretty good. We have, but defensively we're also pretty good. We just need to develop a little bit. The Mincy's mark. We're two and six. You gotta be kidding me. This team should not be going two and six. We're not bad. I bring back Zach Ertz, Jason Kelsey, Darius Slay, Dallas Goder. Not really, but Nickel Roby Coleman, no. Jeffrey, no. Javon Harder, maybe. Probably have a lot of money to do it now because um, everybody's a free agent. That's still not all that much, so hopefully we have enough. Right now, Jason Kelsey um, and Javon Hargrave are the only ones resigned. Zach Ertz wants better bonus. Darius Slay wants better salary, and we'll figure out the rest later. Last. Went seven and nine. Still better than what I would have wanted, but let's go Super Bowl week. There are no development increases defensively. Uh, Taylor, I believe, didn't have superstar. Forbes has superstar. O'Neal has star. Russell has star. So, um, uh, our team right now is a bit in an odd position because we have a ton of players to bring back. Depending on our money, we'll bring them back. Out back, Zach Ertz, Darius, and Darius Slay, and Vontae Maddox, but the rest are going to have to go. They're either too old or just wanted too much money. Agency, there will be two players we go after because we actually have some money now. A Chandler Osu and Duran Payne. Maybe Chandler Jones if he's less money then. Oh, a Chandler. Yeah. Duran Payne and Chandler Jones. Let's go to the draft. In the draft is we have the 14th pick. We need receiver help, so we're going to take Darius Cole out of Wisconsin. Uh, mm. He's not really that good. So we might. we're going to try to get another good receiver. I've been taking so long to get a receiver, but we got Terry McLaurin, not bad at all. The team for what will probably be, well, for what might be the final season. We're an 88 overall. Don't really need anything. I'm in season mark for three and four. We just need to keep winning. We don't really have a shot at the division though, so playing in a pretty competitive division. Hopefully we just keep winning. Checked in at week 14 to see what we were doing, and we were four and eight, and we were, and now we're eight and eight, and we made the playoffs. So let's see if we beat the Saints. We didn't beat the Saints, so we're gonna do another season. Offense, there are no development increases, but Jason Kelsey retired. And defensively, I don't think I see anything. So, that's good. I mean, not good. Fletcher Cox, Terry McLaurin, Davian Taylor are re-signed. Uh, I'm not going to bring back Miles Sanders. and I'm just going to see what other running back, good running backs are in free agency. In free agency, I'm going to go after McCole Hardman and Miles Sanders because he's still the best running back there is in free agency. McCole Hardman and Miles Sanders. We're just going to skip over the draft and go right into the next season. team for the final season. We're an 88 overall. We 
just need to win. We didn't make the playoffs. Went six, nine, and one. Uh, whatever. We had a pretty good team. Just could never put it all together because our playbooks were always not good. But thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.